Hi, I'm the Molander and this is Molander EDC. Welcome back for all the returners. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Molander EDC community. Now, I recently did a video where we just looked at my current EDC or more of a snapshot of the sort of things that I'm testing. One of the things that's got quite a bit of attention that quite a few people commented about, which I thought I'd bump up the list, is the Bastion Bolt Action Pen. Now, as I mentioned in the previous piece of content, this thing is a beast. It really is an absolute beast. Now, what I'll do is, so that I can justify the, the beast moniker, um, I'll turn the camera around so we can take a closer look at this while I'm doing that. If at any point you enjoy this piece of content, you'd like to show some support, please feel free to hit that like button or subscribe and share. That would be amazing. But for now, let's turn the camera around and take a look at this. Okay, so as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, we'll go through some of the materials, and we'll go through the features. Uh, you know, it's, it's a bolt action stainless steel pen, and as far as the features is concerned, or at least in the way that it works, it works really well, it's a nice pen. Um, so lengthwise, Compared to other pens, the, the length, I'd say that this was a standard size. Um, it's not particularly long, it's not particularly short. Um, as far as when it's in your pocket, it fits just nicely in your pocket. So in millimeters, it's roughly 135 millimeters. In inches, it comes in at roughly five and a quarter inches. Um, one thing that you will possibly notice is that this pen is a little bit thicker than your average kind of fare. So here is a Parker Jotter. You can see that it's quite a bit thicker than that. Even your standard um, Bic crystal style pen is quite a bit thicker. It comes in at about 11 or 12 millimeters. So when you've got it in your hand, it certainly feels more like a substantial piece of metal when it's in your hand. Um, I mean, I, I keep referring to this as a beast. Part of the fact that it, it's, it's a little bit girthier is part of that, but the rest really does come down to the weight, which you know we will have a look at at the moment in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, minute, in a minute. Um, now, as I mentioned, so this, this is completely crafted 100% from stainless steel. As far as the components are concerned, you know, it's it's really quite simple as, you know, a, a lot of pens are. So you have the, the barrel and the shaft, which unscrews here at the end. Um, there is the pin or the, the, the bolt action pin here. This can be removed. I haven't undone this mainly because, you know, it's on there and I'd rather it just stay there. I've, I've not really had any reason to, to disassemble the bolt action here. Um, and then here there is a pocket spring with two bolts or two screws here at the top that again, you know, you can unfasten if you choose to, you'll be able to take this off, put those in there um, so that it, it would just run maybe a little bit more flat. I don't mind that, I quite like um, the pocket spring on there. Now as I mentioned, so this just unscrews here at the end. Um, what I've found as far as unscrewing it is, you know, it's, it's, it's reasonably simple. Um, I definitely recommend when you get this, just to, just to make sure you just give it an extra turn. Um, they do have a rubber washer here on the inside, which does help to keep it sealed. Um, but I mean, this, this is probably me, but the first time I undid it and then screwed it back up again, I probably didn't do it tight enough and I found that it, it came undone slightly. Um, but again, I, I really do think that probably was me. Um, the when, when you unscrewing it, there is just a little bit of play here in the end. But again, you know, when that is fully screwed in there, you've got, if I can show you this, I know that we've looked at some uh, reasonably substantial mm -hmm. pens in the past as far as their thicknesses, the walls of thickness is concerned. But you've got a good one to two, well it's probably more, it probably definitely is, two millimeters thick steel all the way through that. So there's there's the tip. Um, coming back, here is the spring, which just decided to roll away from me. And then as far as uh, the inserts for these, these are exactly the same. And just to prove that they are, here is a Parker pen insert. If I was to put this in here, put that on, screw you in. 
you'll be able to see that it works. The, the, that I mean, that's great in itself. I know there's quite a few different people that have opinions on, you know, no, I only like these refills. But, you know, Parker Pen refills, you can get them pretty much anywhere on the planet. So that's a great thing. Um, this came with a black one. Uh, I don't know if there are differences, if you can get other versions. I'm sure you might be able to if you check on the website, um, but I'm more than happy that it came with black. Um, then in here, so you can see through the barrel, which <laughs> that was probably the worst thing to do to try and get my camera to do. Um, that goes all the way through. And this is one solid piece. So this isn't a piece where there is there is an extra part, part here on the end where this domed end is. It's one solid milled piece of metal. Uh, and then as you can see at the moment, because there's no spring on this end, um, the bolt is, is completely free. It's a J-turn bolt. You do find with some of these, it's more like a bit of a C, so as, as it is as it flicks around. So you, you, you have to push it down, flick it across for it to then actuate back into that little corner and the same when it goes that way to, uh, to be able to unleash it. So let's put it all back together. Oh, I thought you were gonna roll off the table then. Put this all back together. It feels quite nice putting it back together as well as for us pen assembly is concerned. The spring in here does a really good job with this bolt action. For fiddlers, I hope you can, I mean, it's awesome. When that, when that fires back into there, you can feel it seating right at the top there. And then again, when you actuate it down there, you feel it. There's a really nice connection when it seats just in the tip of that J and then same when it flies up again to the top, to the top of that J. It feels really, really high quality. You can tell that there is a solid piece of metal moving and, and you know, intersecting with those with those different sections when you when you move the bolt action and that's one of the things that you do get from this and it's one of the things that i've alluded to which we'll get back to now and that and that's the weight of this so i'm just going to show you this in grams let's turn this on i have to excuse my cooking scales are the only ones that i could find that would go low enough that i could measure this in grams so when i put this on here it comes in at 80 grams that's ridiculous. And I mean that in a good way. I totally mean that in a good way. Because having used this now for, oh, how long have I, I think I've had this for about a month. Remember, that's 80 grams. I've never picked up a Parker Jotta and thought, God, that feels just tiny. It feels insignificant. But when I put a Parker Jotta down on there, 14 grams. If you wanted to get the same weight of one of these in your pocket, here is two Parker Jotters, two metal um, uh, Bix crystals, and the uh, FXMD. And that comes to the same weight. Five pens <laughs> versus one pen. Um, it's, it's just, it's just incredible. And this is where that beast factor comes from. When you have this in your pocket, you know you've got this beast in your pocket. It's like having five pens, but five pens all within the same size of one single pen. And it's, it, it is, it's just an absolute beast. However, uh, well, I, I suppose it is a however. I was going to say, I was going to say a but, but I, I don't want it to be a but because buts generally tend to have a negative kind of connotation. As far as how does it write, you'd want a pen to still write really well. It's got a Parker refill or Parker style refill in there, and it writes exactly as you'd expect. It's, it's a great pen. This is generally my first foray into bolt action pens. And I've been looking at a lot of different style pens because there are a lot of bolt action pens out there. 
and some of them as far as budgets are concerned are reasonably high end now I picked this up I'm just trying to remember I think this was about 35 pounds I'm just trying to think I'll leave a link in the description below that may be an affiliate link if you choose to use that that'd be great it just gives a small kick back to my channel to no extra cost to yourself but in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to a Parker Jotta, I think the Parker Jotta's at the moment are about £15, so it's, it's roughly twice the price, but you're getting roughly seven times the amount of steel in this one pen. I have to take my hat off to Bastion for crafting a beast. <laughs> I keep saying it, honestly, I keep saying it, but this is... A beast and it is also a beast that is genuinely a joy to write with. Beast. Beast. It's a beast. It is a beast. It. This. Is a beast. I don't know if I've mentioned this enough through this piece of content but this is a beast. If I was ever in a situation where I needed to defend myself against a pack of rabid badgers this is what I'd go for. Mainly because, you know, I mean, badgers are pretty endangered here in the UK. I, w I wouldn't want to stab one, but you could certainly bludgeon one with one of these. Carefree badgers. Daft animals. Anyway, this is awesome. Uh, for my first foray into a bolt action pen, I love the action on here. It is ridiculously fidgety. I get why people like bolt action pens. And it. <laughs> You can't not pick this up. I've, I've handed this to a few people, knowing full well in myself how much it weighs. And I've given it to them and they do a double take. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy, but it's crazy in a good way. If you like to have something over-engineered, something that is in your pocket or on your wrist. I like a heavy watch because I like to know that it's there. I like to feel that it's on my wrist. This is 100% the pen for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Now what I'll do is, as I mentioned, you know, I'll try and see if I can find some affiliate links for this. I'll leave them in the description below. I'll also leave some links to the Bastion website so that you can see more from them. They make these in lots of different other um, types. I think there, there might be a copper, there might be um, a brass. I know there's definitely a titanium version which will you know, reduce on the weight quite a lot. I think there's one that also has a carbon fiber, carbon fiber shaft to it as well which is really quite cool and then I think some of the other versions they do different finishes of the steel as well which also look really cool so I'll leave some links to that in the description below there'll also be some of my social media links there as well if you want to follow me on Instagram that would be amazing to finish off with the usual YouTube stuff don't forget to like subscribe and share that would be absolutely amazing certainly helps out with my channel but for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.